God know guys and goddesses, kings and queens. God know what's God in you. The Knives of Green family, allies, and enemies. What's happening? Slip double right. So look, man, I just was recording this video doing my thing, and then I wasn't recording, so let me go ahead and record this time, so I'm on Sejihito page, y'all don't know who Sejihito is, go check him out, and Seji is S-E-I-J-I, Hito, H-I-T-O, check him out, he got proper ass commentary, he edited the video and everything, you know, I don't do the video editing, I use the camera to move it, so if you need to be able to look at that, go look at his page, you feel me, but check him out though, just Sejihito page right here, This is these are some of his products that he's selling, y'all might want to uh, go cop some of that too, This motherfucker says smelly pussy energy. The way he said it, homie, don't sound like he like pussy. <laughs> anyway, uh, the picture that you see. So, uh, and like Sejihito pointed out, that there was actually five people in the background. If you look at the arrows, um, uh, five people in the car. If the arrows, those are the people that the news ca cameras. I mean, the news did not actually put out there. Um, the news media's are our enemy. All major news media are enemy. They're enemy. They're not friends. They're foe. They're enemy organizations. So this is what that end up sparking. Massive walkout. Notice that the school's majority people of color. African descent. Check. Look. Check the sister though. Check the new fist in the air, red. Pause. Check out that red, black, and green up there, man. Hey, man, look. Let me, I'm, I, we gonna get on that. So let me, let me, uh, and look. In all fairness, I was in my mind. I'm thinking like, look, they was they wasn't even in school. Why y'all going to the school? Y'all giving these these institutions too much power. Why y'all doing this? Trying to give it to school. In all fairness, that's where my mind was until. I heard this, and they start reading school policy. So now it's like, we you know what? Well, you got to enforce school policy. Still fist in the air. So I'm going to stop right there. And just with that little bit, it, it goes to say that, well, the, it's in school policy. So I can understand why they're bringing the school into it. And from from my understanding, look, this blackface thing, it, it could take a drastic turn. And the people are moving. The people are growing up into self, homie. So when we was coming up, we see Martin Luther King, water hoses and things of that nature. But these children now are seeing the police giving them, cutting them no slack, jumping out, blaming them. It was different when it was billy clubs getting beat over the head. Police officers were going to straight murder and walking away. Mass shooters getting arrested while young black males getting murdered for pulling out a cell phone, like pulling out something like this that'll get them murdered, homie. And nobody's going to jail. So it's going to create a revolution within this country that the whites are preparing for called Rahoa. But the cold thing about it, the Rahoa that they're ready and prepared for isn't going to be what they could use to fight because they're not going to ever use a gun to change the minds of the people and their guns is not going to be able to work against the revolution that's taking place because it's taking place in the minds of the people. And by taking place in the mind, the only thing you can do now is to colonize and then when you try that, then you will have to fight the people. And then it's going to be like an insurgency type war 
and the United States can't fight that, she's overextended. She had to start calling her troops home. And when she start calling her troops home to maintain home, what's going to end up happening is she's going to lose all her gains in her empire. That's going to allow other countries and other nations that where the United States was influenced, influencing to grow and grow strong. The United States will have to use just as much more or even just as much or more energy, really more energy to go back. And achieve those gains that she had before she had to pull everybody out to come back here to try to maintain here. So it's just way too much. And she's too fragile right now to do that. Not to mention the United States need all hands on deck. She the the um the um infrastructure the grid is a D. She cannot handle that right now. So it is what it is. We gotta keep it like it is, not to mention the debt. So so it's small things like this that are actually big things and historical things. Racism exists because the United States instituted racism and still got racism instituted into her laws and the way that she chose to dole out punish punishment. So it is what it is. This is where we at right now. And uh, yeah, man. And why they go getting all their guns, homie, these cell phones are really cold. But when the guns will start to be pulled out, for the guns that is pulled out, that's going to be major, 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 homie. I'm telling you right now what we're moving into. We're moving into the time to where all these cell phones getting pulled out to spot the show the injustice and the injustice is not being handled. You go start to see cameras not pulled out. When they stop pulling out cameras, you know why. And that is actually what we're moving to. But, um, hey, man, as long as we in this situation to where we can talk it out, let's talk it out, let's build and uh, if not, hell, motherfuckers don't want to be right and be righteous. I'm ready when y'all are. I don't give a fuck. I'm with the full shits, man. You know what I mean? I, I go to work every day. Um, I abide by the law. But if the law keep wanting to be, uh, try to, they try to fedangle it, it is what it is. I'm going to ride with my folks. You know what I mean? Folks, I'm riding with y'all. I'm going to let the world know I'm riding with my people. African or nothing.